got a good start where everything fell. Hi, you guys. Happy Monday. So today we're going to be talking about truth or myth about do you have to train every day as an actor? And um, you might have done that. You might have felt, well, yeah, there's so much to do as an actor. So I, I need to work on my instrument every day because there's so much com competition. So I need to be the best in order to be chosen. Um, I need to be seen. I want to get ahead in the line. And so, yeah, I, I, if I'm serious about this, I should train my instrument every day. And there's legends about that, right? That will tell you, yeah, you have to train for 10 years before you can consider yourself an actor. And so you do it. And you take all of the classes and you read all of the books and you work with all of the, you know, best teachers or gurus out there. And maybe you're landing here because it hasn't worked. Maybe um, you're landing here because hasn't worked means when you do audition or act, but most probably when you audition or tape, you're not feeling the fulfillment that you would love to, to feel when you're acting. And maybe also you're not really booking the type of roles that you want to book so you do all the stuff that you're supposed to do you do train every day and maybe you're catching yourself a little bit in a loop of you know like the school world where trying to be perfect or trying to be better or working hard and doing it because that's the way everything is done right the more you work the more you get out of it and you're noticing that you're not fulfilled when you're taping or auditioning and you're maybe not fulfilled when you're acting and also you're not booking and getting the types of opportunities and roles that you do want so it hasn't worked maybe that you're on the other side and you're thinking that the legend of I need to train my instrument every day that's too much I don't want to do it, it feels like an obligation and homework I'm not gonna do it and um, you're feeling like you're slacking and um, maybe you're feeling that hasn't worked either um, so uh, maybe what the, the question that I would like for us to ponder on today is what acting really is. Um, and in my opinion, or in the world and the community that I am about, um, acting is really the, the art of being fully alive and therefore reminding the audience of what it's like to have a human experience. So I'm gonna repeat that. Acting is the art of being fully alive, 100% alive, present in the moment, truthful, free, authentic, so that you can remind the audience what it's like to have a true human experience, okay? So I think that um, if you're going about your life um, and you're observing yourself in your just personal life and you're realizing that oh I'm not always authentic oh I'm not always saying what I want to say like I'm not really free I'm I'm hiding right here in this relationship or I'm shrinking or I'm pleasing or um, I'm actually lying um, if you're aware, if you can be conscious about, can you guys close the door? If you guys can be conscious about um, how you're showing up in your life, that will give you an idea of how close you are to being fully alive. If in your life, you're not really showing up fully alive, meaning freely expressing what you have in your heart, being completely open and authentic, well then, uh, the direct consequence of that is that you're unable to show up fully, fully alive in, um, in your acting world because you don't have access to the full life in you. So you're probably walking around following rules, doing what you think is right, avoiding what is wrong, trying to be good, avoiding what it's probably like to be bad, and you're following dogma rather than actually making your own choices. You're 
yeah, you're following the culture, you're following the conditioning, you're following the shoulds, what you think you're supposed to do, you're following what the authority says is right. And you might be aware of that or you might not be aware of that. We've all been conditioned by school and parenting and this heavy conditioning is might be the first you know, layer of what you interact with in the world. So if you're catching yourself, if you can be conscious about that, oh shoot, I'm in this first layer of learned behaviors, of automatic responses that I've been trained to become, to behave, to think, to think, to feel, to, to, if you're catching yourself there, then there's definitely work to do, right? Then there's definitely uh, an opportunity for you to readjust that in your life and to start going, oh, wow, like I'm, I'm here is, here is where I could be more honest. Here is where I'm living a lie and this is what it would look like to actually live truth. So I wouldn't call that training, but I would call that a consciousness or awareness of how you're showing up because how you're showing up in life is gonna be how you're showing up when you're acting, when you're taping. Maybe in a more intense way because the stakes are higher. But if your job is to uh, be fully alive and remind others what it's like to be truly human, then you definitely want to give yourself the opportunity and um, to, to raise the bar for yourself to make sure that you are actually capable to be fully alive yourself. So in a way, the answer, my answer to the question, should you be training every day, is a bit of a yes and a no. No, there's nothing to learn about acting. All, all kids can act and they've never been to an acting workshop. All ex kids, whether they're you know, working actors or whether they are um, playing with their little characters, are acting, they're embodying different characters and they're having the most fun with it. So there's, there's nothing to train because you did it when you were little and it's only now that you're having problems with it. Um, so my answer is no, there's nothing to learn every day about acting. And yes, you do wanna be really observing how you do show up in your life and in your world. Am I free? Was I completely fully expressed here? Or did I hold things in? Did I hide things? Did I lie because my truth was too embarrassing or too scary for me to reveal? So in that way, I wanna say yes, you're kind of training every day because you're keeping yourself accountable to truth and freedom. So in the work that we do in the reset journey, we help actors reset to that state when you were young when you were completely free and truthful. So we put you through a journey of 33 days where you can undo all conditioning, come back to your freedom and truth. And from there, when people are reset to be themselves, not for me to teach them something, but you just go back to being your true self, how you were born with your innate instinct. Well, from there, it's not gonna be about, I have to train my instrument or I should train my instrument. It's like, I no longer want to lie with my instrument. I no longer want to hide with my instrument. I no longer want to please with my instrument. So inevitably, the way I will show up and practice my time is with truth and freedom. So again, my answer to, um, should one train every day as an actor? Should one train their instrument every day? No, there's nothing to learn about acting. Kids are the best actors and they've never been to acting school. So no to the, I should train, or there's a law that says that if I don't train, I'm not gonna be the best and I have to do all the schools and all the teachers. So no to that. But yes to, am I showing up free all the time in my life and in my, in my uh, work as an actor? Am I being truthful all the time? Or am I trying to look good? Am I trying to please? Am I trying to hide? Am I masking to pretend? Am I trying to look good? Am I trying to look confident? So in that way, yes, you want to catch yourself every day and make the adjustments so that you can do that.
And you might not know how to make the adjustments. Most people don't because you've been trained to pretend, to fake, to please. So that's the work we do in the reset journey. And if that makes sense to you, of course, send us a DM, let us know. Oh, I want to know more about this. Just write stop act and we'll help you to um, do that work. So no to definitely a no to learning acting every day or practicing acting every day and definitely a yes to non-acting every day to just being truth and freedom how only you can so i hope that makes sense and again if you want more information let us know send us a dm write stop act and uh, we'll send you some free guides or some information about this uh, let me know if we have any questions Oh yeah, Bill says it's counterintuitive. Definitely. So yeah, any teaching will t tell you that you need the teaching, right? Um, any art, any masterpiece will prove that you don't need teaching. Any masterpiece, look at any discipline, any masterpiece will be the result of not a method, but just of true heart, true availability, full humanity, really being present in that moment and actually breaking all the rules. So the teachers will stay, say the opposite, but the artwork is, the masterpieces are the proof and the pudding. You can't make art from, you know, learning anything or teaching anything. It comes from actually the, the opposite, undoing all of it. So yes, do undo all the teachings every day. Make sure you show up fully, fully, fully alive, fully free. And if you want help with that, let us know. All right, thank you guys. Bye.